this demonstration is on the Defaults tab. The Defaults tab is located under Setup in the menu bar. Select Office Setup from the drop-down, and then select Defaults tab. The defaults that you can set from this screen are Require preparation fees. Place a check mark here if your office requires a preparation fee for processing a return. Enable return owner locking. A check mark in here will lock returns so that only the originator of the return or a person with admin rights in Crosslink can view the return. Auto add filing options. With a check mark in this box, the filing page will automatically be added to the return. If you want to be sure that every client datasheet has the referral section filled out, then put a check mark in Referral Required. Set finished returns to read only for paper returns only. This will set a return to a locked status under the following conditions. One, it does not have an 8879 attached, and two, print final tax return has been selected. By default, Crosslink will pull forward certain information from the prior year's W-2 and or 1099s when you do a year-to-year -year transfer. If you don't want this option enabled, then put a check mark here in On Year-to-Year -year Transfer, Exclude Forms W-2-1099. Default State Rack to Y-N, which carries over to a question on some bank applications asking if you plan on doing a state rack as well. If you leave this field blank, you will have to fill in that specific field manually each time. Otherwise, you can set the default by using the drop-down box here. Put a check mark in Jump Cursor Past City State. This will jump the cursor past the City and State field on the Client Data screen and go over to the Zip Code field. Once the zip code field has been input, the city and state should auto-populate, provided you have this information in your database. Use Windows Login Name will populate the login name on the initial login screen with the name that you have logged into Windows with. This is commonly used as a method for simplifying crosslink logins. Simply ensure that the crosslink login is the same as the computer's login. Allow only full 1040 returns will disable the ability to repair forms 1040A and 1040EZ. Double entry validation. Some fields such as bank account numbers and bank routing numbers can require double entry to ensure the numbers have not been mistyped. If you would like this enabled, place a check mark in here. In the next section, Font Set will allow you to increase or decrease the size of the font depending on what is most comfortable for your eyes. You will have to restart Crosslink for this change to take place. Prior Year Path This is where you have the previous year of Crosslink installed. You can either type in the Prior Year Path or browse for it. If you have not run Crosslink in the previous year, you can leave this blank. Enter a default retrieval path or click Browse to locate one. Crosslink will retrieve transferred returns from this location by default. Enter a default transfer path or click Browse to locate one. Crosslink will transfer returns to this location by default. For more information about the transfer and retrieve functions in Crosslink, please see the video library. In the section Backup, you can enable backups from inside Crosslink. To enable backups, Place a check in the checkbox here. Then place the backup path in the backup path field. You can either type in the backup path or browse to it. But this path must exist before you can back up into it. It is recommended that you back up to a drive other than the one where Crosslink is installed. The final section here on the defaults tab is billing scheme. If you have more than one predefined billing scheme, you can select which one you would like to be active here or here. At this point, you can either move to the next tab, Auth Audits, click Help for more information, or click OK to return to the Work in Progress screen.